let's summarize the plot of Oedipus Rex. In the introduction to the play, it's explained that Oedipus, king of Thebes, arrived years before in the city he now rules as a stranger after the death of King Laius. He was given the crown because he saved the city from the Sphinx. During the rising action, Oedipus sends Creon, his brother-in-law, to consult Apollo about how to stop the plague. Creon reports that Oedipus must find Laius' killer and avenge his death in order to save his people from this pestilence. The chorus suggests to Oedipus that he consult the old blind prophet Tiresias, who ultimately declares Oedipus is the cause of the plague. Oedipus accuses Tiresias of plotting with Creon to seize his throne. Before leaving, Tiresias tells Oedipus that the killer is in Thebes and will become blind and will turn out to be both the son and husband of his mother. Oedipus accuses Creon of plotting against him, and the men argue until Jocasta, Oedipus's wife, intercedes. Oedipus sends Creon out of the palace without punishing him. Jocasta then tells Oedipus of a prophecy that a son of hers, with Laius, would kill his father. She and Laius pinned the child's ankles together and had a shepherd put him in the wilderness to avoid the prophecy. Laius was killed at a place where three roads meet, presumably by robbers. But Oedipus recognizes this place and these circumstances and asks Jocasta to send for the remaining witness of Laius' death, a slave. He also tells Jocasta about his parents in Corinth, but he's been told they're not his real parents. Years ago, he received the same prophecy, that he would marry his mother, have children with her, and kill his father. Oedipus ran away from Corinth to escape the prophecy, but on the way, he met with travelers at a crossroads, one of whom hit him. Oedipus ended up killing them all. Jocasta sends for the slave who witnessed it. The chorus sings that if the prophecy is not actually true, their religious faith is in danger of dying. A messenger arrives and says Oedipus is indeed not the real son of the people he thought were his parents. Oedipus was a gift from a shepherd who found him with his ankles bound and that the shepherd who gave the child to the messenger to give to the couple who raised him was the very slave they have called to share what he witnessed when Laius was killed. Jocasta realizes the truth and frantically leaves. During the climax of Oedipus Rex, the shepherd is called in and, under duress, confirms the prophecy is true. Jocasta hangs herself, and Oedipus uses the brooches from her clothes to put out his eyes so he will no longer see the horror that is his life. During the falling action, Creon takes pity on Oedipus and wants to keep him at the palace, but Oedipus insists on banishment, leaving his children behind, for he now has no power over them. In the brief resolution, the chorus sings bitterly of the unhappy tale, how a powerful man has fallen, and how death is the only thing that will bring happiness to mortals.